Okay, if we want to describe one variable, a categorical variable like sex, we are going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and then Variables, Sex of the Individual, and Display Frequency Tables. We've already seen this previously, and it comes up in our output window. But if we want to describe a numerical variable or quantitative variable like age, then we need to do something similar, descriptive statistics, frequencies, find age. But because this is not a categorical variable, we don't want to display the frequency table. And instead, um, like I have indicated in the practice too, age is a normal, has a normal distribution. So we are going to find the mean and the standard deviation. We always do this when we have a, um, a sample that follows a normal distribution. So click continue. Okay, and now we can see that that comes up here. We have the mean and the standard deviation. When we want to separate the variables by treatment group, we're going to need to do something a little bit different. When we want to separate these and do a bivariate analysis, which is two variables, then we're going to go to descriptive statistics, and instead of frequencies, we're going to go to crosstab. This will create a contingency table like you've seen in your classes. So we are going to, like you see here, we're going to put sex in the row and the treatment in the column. Sex row, treatment, column. Okay, and we're going to want the percent of um, the different sexes that are in each group. So we're going to go to statistics. Um, sorry, not statistics. We're going to go to cells, and we are going to click on percentages, column, because we want to see here what percent of men are in the new treatment group and what percent of men are in the conventional treatment group. So we're going to click continue, OK, and now you can see that we can compare the percent of men that are in the conventional treatment group and the percent of men that are in the new treatment group and do the same with women. But when we want to separate by treatment with a quantitative variable like age, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go to descriptive statistics. We're going to go to explore. We're going to put age here in the dependent list, and we're going to put treatment in the factor list. Let's go to statistics. I like to just check. We're going to want um, the percentiles. It will just give us more information. Really, you can click anything that you want. It's just going to give you more information. It's going to not going to change anything. Okay, so then we're going to click OK. And we can see that it gives us a lot of information. But this shows us that this is the statistic for age, and this is in the, tr uh, the conventional treatment group compared to the new treatment group. And then down at the bottom, because I clicked percentiles, this gives us um, the different percentiles of the distribution. So we have the median, which is the 50% mark. And then we have the interquartile range, like you've seen in class, which is the 25 and the 75. It actually gives us more than that. And so you can complete that. Oh, one thing that you need to remember is that when you find the statistics for a distribution that is not normal, such as dental black, like I've indicated here, you do not want to put the mean and the standard deviation. You'll want to put the median, which is the 50%, like I showed you before here, and the interquartile range.